What is SSI planning on doing differently? So presumably your plan is to be one of the frontier companies when this time arrives. And then what is, presumably you started SSI because you're like, I I think I have a way of approaching how to do this safely in a way that the other companies don't. What What is that difference? So the way I would describe it as there are some ideas that I think are promising and I want to investigate them and see if they are indeed promising or not. It's really that simple. It's an attempt. I think that if the ideas turn out to be correct, these ideas that we discussed around understanding generalization, Mm. if these ideas turn out to be correct, then I think we will have something worthy. Will they turn out to be correct? We are doing research. We are squarely age of research company. We are making progress. We've actually made quite good progress over the past year, but we need to keep making more progress, more research. And that's how I see it. I see it as an attempt to be an attempt to be a voice and a participant. Um, People have asked uh, your co-founder and previous CEO left to go to Meta recently. And people have asked, well, if there was a lot of breakthroughs being made, that seems like a thing that should have been unlikely. I wonder how you respond. Yeah, so I, in, for for this, I will simply remind a few facts that may have been forgotten. And I think this these facts which provide the context, I think they explain the situation. So the context was that we were fundraising at a 32 billion valuation and then Meta um, came in and offered to, to acquire us. And I said no, but my former co-founder, like in some sense, said yes. And as a result, he also was able to enjoy from a lot of near-term liquidity. And he was the only person from SSI to join Meta. It sounds like SSI's plan is to be a company that is at the frontier when you get to this very important period in human history where you have superhuman intelligence and you have these ideas about how to make superhuman intelligence go well. But other companies will be trying their own ideas. What distinguishes SSI's approach to making superintelligence go well? The, the main thing that distinguishes SSI is its technical approach. So we have a different technical approach that I think is worthy. And we are pursuing it. I maintain that in the end, there will be a convergence of strategies. So I think there will be a convergence of strategies where at some point, as AI becomes more powerful, it's going to become more or less clearer to everyone what the strategy should be. And it should be something like, yeah, you need to find some way to talk to each other and you want your first actual, like real super intelligent AI to be aligned and somehow be, you know, care for sentient life, care for people, democratic, one of those, some combination of thereof. And I think this is the condition that everyone should strive for. And that's what the society is striving for. And I think that this time, if not already, all the other companies will realize that they're striving towards the same thing. And we'll see. I think that the world will truly change as AI becomes more powerful. Yeah. And I think a lot of these forecasts will, like, I think things will be really different and people will be acting really differently. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.